Wade Cloyd, thank you for $5. I'm planning on buying your new frame kit, and I'm worried. I'm not worried about sub-250. What motor size and brand would you use? I'll tell you the truth, Wade, and I shouldn't tell you this. Because the rule is never discourage a customer from buying when they're getting ready to make a buying decision. That's, that's if I were a salesperson, that's what I would say. Um, just this morning at 9 a.m., I got this message. I'm going to screenshot it so I don't accidentally share any more of the conversation than I mean to. If it were up to me and I didn't care about the 250 gram limit, which I don't, I would build the three and a half inch version. That's what I would do. I'd build the three and a half inch because I think three and a half inch flies a little better than three inch. Now that doesn't exist. You can't buy it. Literally the prototype of that plate was cut in Ryan Harrell's house today. So we're at least like a month out, maybe maybe more, I don't know, from actually having a product you can buy. But that's what I would do. Um, as far as motors go, I don't know. I always struggle with three and a half inch motors. Um, I think like 16 millimeter. Uh, let's see what the Baby Hawk 2. What motors does it have? Three and a half inch. It's, I wish Ciotti was here. I think he recommends like a 160 and a KV. Let's look at what they've got 1404. Shut up. No, that's for that's for that's for babies. That's for babies. Oh, motors. Can I get motors by size? Oh, shut up. Stator size. Let's see what we got for a 16 millimeter motor. 1604, 5.8. Oh, I can't select multiples. 1605 is the, oh my God, Aerolite. 1608. No, 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 no. 1604. That feels right. That's in the ballpark. 1404 is okay for three and a half, but you get a lot better performance out of a little bit bigger motor. T motor 1604, 2850 KV. That's, yeah. So that's the one I'm shooting for, but you may not be able to buy it now that T motor, now that vendors seem to be paying attention to T motor's sanctions. T motor has been on the sanctioned list for a while, but nobody seemed to care. And lately, one vendor was like, we're not going to carry them anymore. 2005s? Yeah, I think that's the next place I would go. Uh, stator size 2004 or a 2006? Oh, I don't know. What about a 2005? Can't have a 2005? We want like a Emax Eco 2004 3000 KV. It's got potential. 1604 on a heavy build. 1604 would be good, but there's only the T motors and they're out of stock and I don't know when we'll see them again. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Michael Luna has a good comment on a three and a half inch. 
You can put 1804 3500 KV, it rips, but the Tank S only takes 9x9 mounting, so the biggest I could get was the 1505 Gep RC motors. Valid. 1505. So you're looking for something around 3500 KV for 3.5 inch props. And then a motor in the like 15 to 16 millimeter, 1505 to 1604 range, or something like a 2004 which is going to be a little bit too big, but easier to find. Maybe a 2003. I don't know if there's very many 2003 motors. I know there's a few. Not, none, none here. No. 2006. Who makes a 2006? What a weird motor. No, I don't buy that. Um... All right. RC and Power Smooks would be a great choice. 1507. Ooh. 1507. That, yeah. They're selling it as a Cinewhoop motor. But Smooks plus... No, 2080 KV is too low KV. 2680, come on. 38, oh, here you go. The Smooks 1507, 3800 KV. Does that have 9x9 mounting, though? What mounting? It's got 12 millimeter mounting, so that's out. A 3.5 inch frame isn't going to have 12 millimeter mounting. Is it? It's a 9 millimeter mounting. Yeah, that's tempting. That would be that would be very tempting. All right. 